Man, that's totally unprofessional. But when you're recording at home, that kind of happens. And what the crap have I done? There we go. So I need that, this, and this. I need one more. Now, if you didn't, if you didn't already know that I am living off of like, that that right now I am sleep deprived, you probably might not even be able to tell, just because I can cover it so well. Uh, I've learned to sleep without sleeping. And I've learned to be awake without being awake. Kind of like high school. Actually, a lot like high school. Um, and, uh, one of these. See, in high school, you learn all sorts of important things. You learn how to uh, not hate people for being dumb, or they try to teach you that. I never learned that. I learned that if people are ignorant, then they're really ignorant. And I've also learned that people are not ignorant about everything. They're just ignorant about a lot of things that you wish that they weren't. Um, this does not go here. This goes right here. And this... This goes right here. Well, that's neat. So... Hang on. So, this coal vein is almost completely hidden. Well, that's kind of nice attention to detail. Sort of. I mean, that always bugged me in, uh, like, where, where the, you're basically paying for some invisible stuff. Um, get two of those. Four of these, and one of these. Uh, but I mean, when it comes to Legos, like, you need that structural integrity. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with uh, very flimsy builds. And I think that this is actually kind of flimsy already because there's just a lot of like really small piece, like one of pieces that are hooking together. And I don't have a problem with it. No, wait, right here. But, uh, I mean, there's definitely some. This goes here. And this goes here. This goes here, and this goes here. But there's definitely some, uh, like, a little bit of sneaky stuff going on here. Like, um, they're definitely getting their money's worth because there's so many of these one-of pieces. You know, these little singular little pieces. There's so many of those pieces, and it's kind of cheaty. Um, cause there's so many parts that they could have saved up space and made it cheaper to build with bigger parts, but they didn't do that.
So this is almost done. I'm gonna need this and these, and I'm gonna need these. And it's almost time to hook this bad boy together. Almost time. Well, that's kind of neat, this nice little overhang. I'm actually really used to seeing those in Minecraft. That was kind of neat to include. So we'll take this. We'll need four of these. And we'll need two of these green hairs. And pieces are flying everywhere. Anyways, I'm almost done. these last three pieces on, figure out where the heck this thing goes. Oh, it goes right here. And then this, going on like so. And then this piece connects here. And if I get out the other kits, it will tell me that um, these pieces hook together like so, and I can hook them like this. So here's my little Minecraft world. It's all complete. Here's my Steve. He doesn't fit inside of his house. That's a bit of an oversight. Um, this tree's falling apart. So I can pop this tree off. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, I don't know if the light's picking it up properly. There's two gold blocks, some water sources, uh, lava, redstone I think? Redstone. Uh, a little bit of water here. It's kind of a weird cave system, but it looks pretty neat. Um, put all these pieces back on. Now, I've actually got these extra two connector pieces, which I think I'm going to take advantage of when I build the village. Because the village will also have the same four-piece four design. And then I'll be able to mix and match uh, the parts. And then I will have Steve here uh, probably... Well, Steve and the Villager, and the Pigu, uh, since I'll have three homes in total, that's pretty cool. Uh, then there's, I get one zombie to hang out with his, to hang out with his little creeper buddy. Uh, and I've got some extra parts. Uh, I don't really know what to do with them, but, uh, this part is really neat, just cause it's a little little flowing water block. Um, I guess I've got like some extra uh, uh, I've got a couple extra blocks that I can build around with for like if I were to take this apart and build it myself um, I actually have a second Steve I can build. So that's neat. Got a bunch of extra stone blocks, got a coal block, some more dirt blocks. I guess if this is a Steve, then this would just be like more sand blocks. It's flush colored for Minecraft. Uh, got some water, some grass pieces, and some lava pieces. So. Um, I'll probably get a Ziploc baggie. Uh, I don't actually know if all four of these pieces can fit inside of here. I hope so. Yeah, I think, I think all four pieces can fit inside there. So, the next time I'm, uh, 
hooking this, hooking up, when I'm hooking up the village, this bad boy, with little, uh, it's got, it looks like it's got a, looks like it's got a farm, and, uh, two houses, a little mine under, underneath, and, um, a snow-capped mountain. Uh, also, from this side, it looks like there's a bit of TNT that I can build, too. So that's neat. So, yeah. I'll be building this in probably a couple of days. I think this, you know, it's actually a different piece. Yeah, I'll be building this in a couple of days. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to be building it, but uh, it'll be in a couple of days' time. Maybe longer, actually. But... Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put this away, and uh, that's it for this episode. That's also going to be the last of the Minecraft videos for a little while. I just got to get another time to build the next set, which will be four more days of videos, and then then we get to the final set. The Nether. Ooh. Micro Mundo El Infierno. I mean, Micro World, The Nether. Uh, the Nether I'm very excited about because there's a zombie pigment that I can make, and there's two gas that come with it. Um, doesn't really look like, uh, it has these top parts, though. Looks kind of like, it's just sort of standalone stuff. But it looks pretty neat. Um, I'm excited. Uh, so this, should, let's see, this should come out on about the, uh, 20th. Um, maybe it'll turn into, like, one of these, I'll, I'll record one of these things each, each week that I have a day off, and then, um, but, uh, if I do that, then it'll take me three weeks to build all three of these. Ages 10 and up. <laughs> That's it.